Hi guys. So I think there is a great opportunity in uh, cryptocurrencies after being in, the, in, in this market for uh, three years. Um, no, two years and a half. Um, I've come to the conclusion that even the leaders like Bitcoin have some serious problems. Um, but I, I discovered it by being into uh, NXT the past two years um, um, and uh, following it up closely and seeing how things evolved. Um, I think the big problem in these cryptocurrencies is that the incentives are not aligned, that the core developers um, have not the same incentives as the coin holders because the core developers are not paid by the coin holders and so they have to look for income sources elsewhere um, and in Bitcoin's case uh, the core developers have been started to work for companies I haven't studied it in, in depth I hear the name is Blockstream or it doesn't matter what company it is it's just not a good situation um, but in NXT the same is also happening that um, the business model that the core developers have uh, created is that they are able to sell uh, the software to companies uh, for a private license not an open source license and then that way um, they can make money that way possibly also offer support to these companies um, and um, that's not a good thing because they are the crea the designers of the software. They, of, of, they decide what goes into the software and what not. Eh? So they should do that based on uh, only one thing and that is to create value for the coins, the Bitcoins or the NXT. And, um, but if they are paid by other people, by uh, companies, then they're... they are not benefiting from the coin going up in value. Um, they are benefiting from doing a good job for those companies. Uh, that will make them money. Uh, sometimes core developers don't have many coins even. And so that's a, a big problem. Um, it's not good uh, because even though because incentives are super important, they work <laughs> even unconsciously. You can't help yourself to take into account how you're going to make money. That's, that's, that's going to decide what you do. And so I've noticed in NXT that with the, because NXT, a lot of things change because it's, it's a, a, an alternative cryptocurrency. They have to really like do a lot more than Bitcoin to find a market. So it's normal that you have changes, but if the incentives for the developers are not this, uh, the same, then I, I can't even trust the change that they do or propose. And But I see the same is happening with Bitcoin. Um, of course, this creates big arguments, big wars, uh, because uh, uh, this person says this, the other person says that. Um, it's very hard to decide like who's right here in blockchain also like okay they don't want to increase the block size limit and so that uh, makes it very hard to increase the amount of transactions that block, uh, Bitcoin can do and so you have this big war going on about that but I think that um, you know in order to judge who's right uh, you need to be very uh, d dive deeply into it and most people, they don't, don't have the time, energy or uh, knowledge for that. The only thing they see is that there is a war going on and that's not a good thing. It's not good to join, uh, uh, to, to, it's just not good for business uh, people that fight. And so, um, so they avoid uh, the whole thing and look for something else. And uh, that's the problem um, with uh, with with cryptocurrencies you have these wars it's not because it's open source it's because there is no hierarchy um I, there is a hierarchy but uh, not really not like in a company um in a company you don't have wars because they 
the the winner kicks the loser out and you have you have agreement again within the company and um so uh, but in open source the people can't kick each other out and uh, and they start they continue to uh, fight uh, on the internet uh, against each other and um uh, and the interests are not aligned and that stays the same of course because that's fundamental uh, in the design of the cryptocurrency so it's just not a good system um, I think for currencies you should have also a system where the incentives are aligned that means that the ones that develop the code should profit from the coin going up in value and should be paid that way uh, and only that way um, like in a company um, yeah, uh, you hire people that um, you work with people that uh, yeah, dedicate themselves to the project and um, uh, yeah uh, I think you need the same here. Mm. And so how can you pay people uh, from the rise of the coin? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've discussed it in my previous videos. Uh, I'm not going to discuss it in this video, it's not important. Uh, what's important is that you should do that. And that's just not uh, available uh, in the current cryptocurrencies. Ethereum actually does it in Dash. Uh, by issuing new coins, they create, they pay their developers and marketeers themselves. Uh, and, uh, and Dash does that too. Uh, albeit it's a low percentage of the amount of newly issued coins, only 10% goes to uh, goes to uh, the developers and marketeers all the rest goes to um, the validators of transactions or the mixers of uh, coins um, so I think that's very low only 10% uh, in the case of Dash but in the case of Ethereum I don't know exactly how much it is uh, probably a lot more uh, percent of the Every year they create 18 million coins extra. I think the inflation rate, I don't know how much that is, probably around 20% per year or so for the time being. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of it goes to, although they have also a mining system, so maybe half of it also goes to validators of transactions. I think these are very high numbers. I think validating of transactions, mixing of coins, all these things can be done very cheaply, as NXT has proven. Um, with a proof of stake system, you don't. You, they, NXT doesn't need any inflation to pay for these things. Just a small transaction fee pays for that. So, so I think uh, a good a cryptocurrency should lower uh, the the expenses to basic stuff like validating transactions or if you want to have a, a privacy coin and mixing the coins automatically. All these things can be done extremely cheap and should be done extremely cheap so that. The issuance of new coins doesn't go to that, which is a low value, uh, uh, but it should go to high value uh, people that add a lot of value to the coin, which is um, the programmers that, uh, that develop the coin and the marketeers that succeed in attracting more users. These people should be paid and uh, decently, and I think that should be done with the issuance of new coins because you can't do it with fees because then your coin becomes too expensive. So it's it's logical that you have to do it this way. And then the only question that remains is how do you start the coin? And there I'm not 100% sure. I think probably the solution there um, is also to... Uh, well, if you, if you start a coin so-called fairly well as Bitcoin did it fairly means there that you could mine the coin but it just means people put money into computers and they have the coins but those that are first doing it get a lot more coins than those that come later that's called fair well I think NXT approached it differently 
I think that was equally fair by doing Ico as Master Point was the first and NXT then also a little later just um, people can buy the coins uh, that are issued at inception I think that's 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 a uh, that's that's also system but I don't think these are good good systems because suddenly you have a big problem like all the coins are spread over a bunch of investors and the ones that leading the coin that need to take all the decisions they don't have a big stake in it per se and they don't feel really motivated to make it a success they move on to another coin <laughs> that's really not, uh, not, 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 not working well either so I think the way companies start uh, and, and, and founders have a very big stake in their uh, company is very important to make it a success the interests needs to be aligned the interest all doesn't need to be just aligned it also needs to be proportional and that means that the one that does it has the biggest stake so the one that starts it in a company has all the stake and then he starts to distribute it i think that's a good system companies have proven over so many uh, millennia that that's a really good system so I think if you do it at currency like that you might be much more successful mm, in, uh, in, in achieving growth that certain companies are also able to do and to have less fights or when fights uh, disagreements are there that they are resolved much quicker and uh, so that uh, 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 so that uh, the, the, the company can uh, continue to grow I think um, I think that's a very good idea uh, and I'm still looking for people uh, to uh, join um, I had some response but yeah I I, I, uh, I might have found someone who wants to work on the marketing level but I'm still looking for uh, programmers um, I only need one or two great guys that I, f I can connect with good and, uh, and, and then we can do something together um, uh, so please uh, reach out to me um, my email is markdemazel at gmail.com um, you can also find me on twitter and uh, facebook hope to hear from you and hope you enjoyed some of my thoughts bye